Hello everyone! Today I will show you how to create a speech or thinking bubble using Piccolage. Piccolage is an app that can be used on both Apple and Android devices. Although students need to be 13 years or older to create an account, it is totally possible to use the app without an account. So my app is installed on my iPad, Piccolage. So once I'm in the app, what I want to do is use either a freestyle or a grid. For this a specific task, I will use a grid. I want to have my grid. I can choose the model that I want. I will choose this one here. So now I want to put a background to my image. I can either use a background that is already available here. So if I click on backgrounds, I have a bunch of free backgrounds. So make sure students know which are the free ones and which are paid for. We don't want to pay for. There are enough free ones. But for the specific task, I need an image. I can either have the image on my iPad or I can look for the image. Uh, if I click on the web image at the bottom, I will look for a specific image that are free uh, to use. So I'll look for winter. So I have one image chosen, so winter here, and then I will add another picture from the web, and I'll write summer. There you go. So now that I have both um, images at the background, I would like to have my character, the character that will be thinking or that will be uh, speaking. For this specific task, what I will do is look for a tiger. However, instead of looking like I did for summer and winter, just to look for the word, I will add PNG at the end. If I add PNG, I will probably have pictures that don't have a background. So this way it will be nicer on my uh, presentation. So I will try two or three and see. So you see there's no background. I'll put this tiger here, this tiger. I'll erase and put in the waste bin. And this tiger, I'll put maybe like this. <clears throat> okay, so now I want to add a speech bubble. I can use the web image tool and look for speech bubble if I wanted to. However, if I click on sticker, there are stickers already included in Picolage that I can use. So you see, yeah, there's a lot of free ones as well. In my recent ones, I see I have used these already. So I'll put them again. So this one's here. If I click on my speech bubble, because you can see that it's reversed right now, if I click on it, I can click on the little pen and I can flip the image so it's um, better placed. So I have my two bubbles now. What I want to do now is add text in these bubbles. So there's one icon at the bottom, one tool that is text. I'll click on it. I'll write my text. Hello, says my tiger. <clears throat> there you go. I can move it with my finger. I can make it better or smaller with one finger. But I can also, if I double click on it, I can also edit the text and choose amongst many different fonts that are available. And I can change the color of my text if I wanted to as well. Then, when my poster is done, when my speech bubble or thinking bubble is done, I'll click on done and I'll save to library. Once it's saved in the library, the student can send it to your, their teachers via AirDrop, Google Classroom, um, or any other way the teacher wants them to share the uh, final product. So I hope this was helpful.